Good morning. This is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. As we move along in the book of Genesis, we come to Genesis chapter 12. And I inv invite you this morning to take time and read the first four verses, of which I come to you with verse 3. And all the people on earth will be blessed through you. A blessing, not a curse today. The farmer who is changing heads on his combine or vaccinating his pigs is probably not conscious of any relationship to Abraham. But Paul wrote that all believers are Abraham's spiritual heirs. That means if Abraham was a source of blessing, then all Christians share the blessing potential. This is especially true of farmers. Farmers all know that they don't have many advantages in the marketplace. 97% of the population wants cheap food, and they usually get their way. But farmers can have satisfaction, the satisfaction of knowing that they are a blessing for all the lives that will go on through their labor. There is nothing threatening about food. Food is not a weapon unless you misuse it. Food is not optional. Without food, the world would die in a matter of days. Farmers who produce food will an absolute need in a peaceful way. The result of their work is completely good. Who else is able to be the channel of such a blessing for so many people? And yet, how many of our people don't realize where that food they pick up on the shelf comes from? You know, when you talk to a child and you ask them where a gallon of milk comes from, they say the grocery store. It's in the bottle. Well, how does it get to the bottle? Where does it come from before then? Well, somebody puts it in there. But when you stop and talk to them or take them to visit a dairy farm and they see the little calf running across the meadow and you tell them that little calf is going to grow up and eventually that calf will give milk and then that milk is processed and then the milk is bottled and it's carried to the store. It makes them stop and think once or twice about what it is they're putting in their mouth. Abraham became a blessing, a source of good fortune, because God made him one. Farmers deserve to consider blessing as part of their identity, too, because God has made them the stewards of the land. So I invite you as your challenge for today to make a list of people who are better off because of who you are and what you do. Then thank God that you can be a blessing for others. After all, as we come in prayer, Lord, we praise you for the privilege of being a channel for your blessing. Help us remember how important our work is to you. Amen. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a good day.